Hello YouTubers and welcome to this video. Today's video is going to be about how to create a database using VB language. So let's start by running our Visual Studio and create a new project. Select Windows Forms application, name your um, project whatever you want and click OK. And then you're going to need two things to work with in this tutorial. So we're going to need the database explorer and the data, the data source. If you don't have these two things, you need to go to view, go down until you found all the windows, and you will find them there. Just select them, and you will be fine to go. Data source and the database explorer. So, the first thing we should do is to add database into our project. So, let's go to the, the name of the, pro uh, the, the project, and click with the white button. Go to add new item. Uh, list will show up, so we're gonna need, we're gonna need to select local database. Uh, name it if you want, and click add. A wizard will show up. Just console the wizard for now, and go to the data explorer, and you will find the database that you created before. So double click on the database, go to table tables, and click with the right button, and select create table. And what the table does um, is to organize and uh, save your information into columns and rows. So you're going to need to uh, give this table a name. So I'm going to uh, name mine table or TB. And we're going to go and create um, our column. So the first column is going to be ID. And uh, it's going to be uh, with a primary key and unique. And we're going to jump to the, the second column and going to name its name. And the third one, I'm going to call it uh, phone number. So, phone. And that's it with the table. Just click OK. We're done with it. So, once you're done with the table, go to the data source and um, click on this icon or go to add new data source. A wizard will show up. Just click next next and the wizard will automatically select the, 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 the database that you created and then click next next and it will show you objects that we created so a table with three columns I'm going to select this table and click and click finish so once you uh, are done with um, the wizard a table will show up in the data source or in the data set so uh, what you need to do is to just drag uh, the table into your form and uh, the Visual Studio will automatically generate for you a data grid view and uh, um, a binding, uh, a binding navigation, navigator so uh, I'm gonna just adjust this data grid view for now and uh, we need to go back to the data source and click this button, select details, and then uh, drag it uh, again into your form. So it will give you um, inputs and uh, names of the columns, so you can enter information into this table or the data grid view. So I think that's it. And the last step uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to make this uh, column uh, generate for me um, the numbers automatically. So the ID it will be automatically generated once you click on the add button. So uh, how to do that, you're going to need to go to the data source and click this uh, icon here to edit the data set with a designer. And you will find the table there and the, all the columns that you created. Select the first column ID and go to uh, the properties and uh, uh, you will find auto insertment so set it to true and the auto insertment seed set it to zero and then set it uh, auto insertment step set it to one and you're fine to go so um, I think that's it with the this tutorial and let's start the program and see if it works fine so uh, we're gonna just uh, make test. 
So I'm going to give a name and a bunch of numbers and click add. And uh, I'm going to just add another one and click add. So that's it. I'm going to save it and see if it works. Uh, it, it saves uh, our information uh, into the database. So it works fine and you can uh, add, delete and save. So uh, we're going to delete these two and see if it works. Again, let's start it again. And here we go. It works fine, fine and uh, that's it with this video. I'm gonna be doing um, more advanced tutorial about database, so stay tuned and uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And thank you for watching. Uh, see you later. Okay, bye.